Welcome to the jump. So what I'd like to do is talk to you about how to determine increasing and decreasing intervals. And um, basically, I think the more confusion on increasing and decreasing intervals is like the notation on how exactly we, you know, write it. And you know, basically, because I think most people understand, like they can even picture like a, you know, a roller coaster. If we, you know, are basically saying here's time, you know, and here's height, a um, a relationship of you being like on a roller coaster, and again, this is not a exact picture by any means, but just for you know the purposes of this math instruction, let's just call this you know uh, twenty and this you know sixty, and then let's do one at eighty. So you could have something that graph looks like this. As time goes on, you're going to be going up. Maybe you're just doing something vertical for a while. It's kind of fun. And then at 60, after 60, then you're dropping all the way back down to you know, your original height where you started. Um, now, again, the only reason why I'm giving you guys this graph is to one, kind of make some connections as far as like, oh yeah, if, you know, roller coaster, you go up, you know, sometimes you do this up and down, whatever, and then you like go down at the end. Um, the important thing is, what I want you to understand is, obviously we know from zero to 20, we are increasing in height, right? The graph is going up. It has a positive slope. So we would say from 0 to 20, the graph is increasing, right? From 20 to 60, again, this could be in sixths, you're not going to have like minutes, but from 20 to 60, the graph is, is flat, right? And this might be, I don't know, maybe there's a, a medical thing or something. You just have this flat line. It'd probably be a bo boring roller coaster. But if you just imagine you're not changing like up or down, then you're just going constant. And then from 60 to 80, 60 to 80, you are going down. The graph is decreasing, right? So the slope is flat here, decreasing. Now, usually most students like understand this like, okay, I got it. But then what happens is when we introduce this in another formation of like a polynomial, it kind of starts getting a little bit you know, more confusing because we're not really thinking of this in terms of a roller coaster, but we're kind of like, you know, how do we really make sense of everything? So I'm just going to kind of draw some. Um, yeah, let's, let's do from, do, 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 let's go from negative infinity to that. Okay. So now, usually when you see a graph like this, what we'll do is we'll label the points. And let's call this negative 1, um, 8. Here we're going to be at 2, comma, negative 3. And again, I'm just like making up some random points here to kind of prove my point. Uh, let's say this is this point here is 7, comma, you know, 6. And this point here is going to be, let's do 2, comma, 2. Okay. So now let's ask the same question. When is the graph increasing or decreasing? And again, what we're looking for is we're looking for the positive slopes. So we see here positive slope, positive slope, positive slope. There's no, there's no constant in this example. So now what we want to do is write the values of when is the graph increasing. Well, if you notice, when the graph was increasing over here, we're looking for the x intervals when the graph was increasing. And that's the same thing we want to do here is we want to look at the x intervals. But most students get confused is because they want to think of like the y intervals, like how high are you going and so on and so forth. And that's exactly why I left this off. Like I could have gone to, you know, 10,000 feet or whatever else, but that's not what the question is asking. The question for increasing the interval is when is the graph increasing, when is the graph decreasing? So we're asking for like the time, right? We don't care how high or how low it goes, that's a different question. So over here, when I'm saying, when is the graph increasing or decreasing, I don't care about the y values. Those are just confusing. We only care about the x values, OK? So if we're looking for this initial value here, we don't have a real life scenario where it starts at 0. This graph is going to continue going to the left all the way to negative infinity. So I'm going to say the graph is increasing from the x interval of negative infinity all the way to negative 1. Because at 1, you can see that it starts to change into decreasing. So the graph is increasing from negative infinity to negative 1. Really kind of depends on your you know, instructor if you're using including or excluding points. Um, in this case, I'll just use including points. Then it decreases all the way till 2. And then from 2 to 7, it is also increasing. It starts decreasing from 7 to 2. And then from, I'm sorry, that's not wrong. That's uh, 8. Let's do 8, 2. 
And then from 8 to 2, the graph again is increasing. But actually, I'm sorry, from 8, not to 2, from 8, it's going to continue increasing all the way to infinity. Now the graph is decreasing, where it's not increasing, obviously, where it has a negative slope, where it's going down. And you could say it's decreasing from the x value of negative 1 to 2, and it's decreasing from the x value of 7 to 8. Okay? And again, the most important thing, guys, is the y values don't matter. We're not asking how high and how low the graph is going. We're just asking what x values is the graph changing, you know, going positive or going negative. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you determine the increasing, decreasing, as well as constant values. Thanks.